Hello, this is a reading for Sandra May St. John. Her friends and family lovingly call her Lexi. And this is just a pre-reading that I'm doing right now, okay? So when I do pre-readings, it's just to, for me to kind of get a, a lay of the energy. What's coming up surrounding her disappearance? What's coming up surrounding what may have happened? Um, the key players who may have been involved, etc. So that's what I did here. I shuffle the cards from this deck here, this large deck here, and I shuffle the cards, and these are the cards that jumped. And so I just turn them all over, place them here, and now we're just going to go through and see what comes up. And then I'm going to do a full-on reading after I've sat with this information. I'm going to do a full reading uh, for, you know, digging further into what happened, where she may be at, what's going on. Okay, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in here. Oh, not that tight. Would you guys be able to see the cards? Okay, so uh, a close family friend asked for this reading. So, you know, I wanted to take good care in doing this reading. Okay, so let's just talk about what came up. The card July. I don't know if you all can see that clearly or not, but July. This could represent when it became abundantly clear to the family, to friends, to law enforcement that something may have happened. So I know that she uh, went missing between, I think it was June 5th to June 6th of 2021. And so I'm, I'm sensing that maybe July is speaking to when things finally became really clear and crystallized that something may have happened here. Um, also, I what's interesting to me that gave me almost a chill was this card, Crossing Borders. This does not necessarily mean, of course, that Lexi crossed borders, but it can mean that someone fled the country, someone crossed the border, crossed the border into Mexico, crossed the border, you know, elsewhere, but left. September is interesting to me because September could mean this is when this person made plans to cross the borders, uh, to leave, um, to flee, to get away. Waterfalls is sitting next to September. When I think of the song, Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls, you know, you can, it's like symbolism. It's like you're, you're running away from something. You know, you're you're trying to get you're trying to move beyond the the difficulties, the smallness of the situation, the smallness of where you're at, and so you're moving moving away. This also could symbolize a, a pertinent location to where Lex may be at, Lexi may be at, or it could mean that um, there's critical evidence near a waterfall. If you're looking at it, I'm just like just taking it for face value for waterfalls okay september or july could also speak to this year or speak to when pertinent information surrounding her case could come about or pertinent things could happen indictments things of that nature could come about it doesn't necessarily only speak to last year it could speak also to the years going forward so july and september but there's someone or some ones who definitely crossed the border why because they wanted to start over we have new identity don't want to be found fresh start new life often when this card comes up it's not necessarily coming up because of maybe the person the person who's disappeared who wants a fresh start it could you know, it very well could, but it also can come up for those who may have been involved or may know something about Lexi's disappearance and they wanted to leave and flee the waterfalls car with the crossing borders. They wanted to take on a new identity. They don't want to be found. 
They wanted a fresh start and a new life. And so in order for that to happen, they needed to cross borders. So now we're going to talk about what led up to her disappearance. And that is found here in this row. So there was some sort of um, gathering, get together, social drinking. Um, it was a kind of a festive situation. It wasn't, you know, it didn't seem to uh, be, you know, anything that was like popping off like, oh, you know, she's doing something nefarious or, you know, the, you know, it was it was a good time to be had here with this social gathering. There was drinks being poured. There was, you know, people being jovial, having a good time. But as the night progressed, folks became intoxicated, drunk. The, the night became alcohol and like fueled. It became where um, it, it became almost like a combustible situation. You know, like when you pour actual rubbing alcohol into a fire and it just explodes. Um, the same thing when you're drinking. It just something explodes. Somebody wanted someone to shut up. Someone wanted to suffocate and stifle noise. This could actually be what may have happened here. You know, <laughs> I'm going to let you all in on a little secret about myself. When I was younger and I was wild, <laughs> my poor parents, I ended up getting alcohol poisoning. And... I was like a teenager and it was bad. And sometimes what can happen is it can, it literally, you know, can, it can suffocate you, the alcohol. Um, somebody could have gotten into an argument over something. It, like somebody got mad about someone lusting after someone else, some temptation, um, somebody, thought they saw something going on and it really pissed them off it ticked them off and so it just became like a combustible situation so they wanted to stifle um, they wanted to suffocate they wanted to choke out the noise they wanted it to end this could literally mean suffocation um, and suffocation can come in the form of actual manual like covering up somebody's mouth or it could be giving them something to shut them up, or it could be, you know, burying them or putting them somewhere that they cannot breathe, suffocation, covering the mouth. Um, and so some, it was just, a, it just, it says intoxicated, but this was a toxic situation. Alcohol can quickly become toxic to a situation and to a body. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up on here. There was some sort of argument ensued during this get together, during this gathering. And it, the argument was over some jealousy, over some things being revealed about feelings about someone. It could be feelings, somebody had feelings for Lexi, or someone perceived that Lexi had feelings for someone else, or that there was actually something going on here. And it just became super combustible. So this row here, we this is dealing with, you know, maybe clues or some other important information for the family to know and to to hear. This is this is here, okay? So we got outback, rural, or deserted. Wherever she's at, wherever important clues are at about Lexi's disappearance or in a rural part of the area. When I do her full reading, I am going to dive a bit further into what are some clues, where are some spots that, that people can hang on to and go and see what they can find, etc. Perhaps the reason why the family is, is believing that maybe she's made her transition, that she's crossed over, is because there has been some evidence found in this deserted area, this rural, because one of the keywords, let me show you, one of the keywords here is rural, deserted. There was some key evidence that led authorities to believe that something happened to Lexi. So there is evidence evidence that may not have been released to the public may or may not have been released to the family but there was enough evidence to say something happened something happened here okay and 
this is why it is important for justice to be had. And when you see a card like this in a reading, like such as a disappearance reading, it's a comfort because it is saying justice will be had. Justice will be received. It may take time. And we'll look at that. We'll see if we can get some clues on when we might be able to anticipate more movement in her case. I know her family and loved ones and friends are very frustrated with the pace at which things are going, especially because the male suspect or accomplice, I thought this card, this is another card that gave me chills. Two cards that gave me chills in this reading was the male suspect and accomplice and crossing borders and that's probably because they're speaking to one another he could have just simply been an accomplice to what may have happened and transpired this combustible situation um, male suspect he had a hand in doing something he is an accomplice he is a male suspect and i know that they do have a suspect or a person of interest um they being the law enforcement, they have someone in their line of view who is heavily involved and needs to be talked to and needs, you know, they need to be talked to here. And yeah, so solved injustice in due time, this case will get some form of resolution. OK, it's just going to take some time because the key players who may be involved are not talking. Somebody's crossed the border. Uh, people are just being mum. But guess what? At first, I was like, is this card about Lexi, this mental illness, stress, fragmented breakdown energy? Is that about her or is that about someone else involved in this? This is. I got a gut hit. This is about someone who else who's involved. Maybe someone with really dark hair. I don't know. Um, someone who has dark hair but dyes it. Or maybe they just always have dark hair. They're feeling fragmented. They're going to experience some sort of mental breakdown. The stress of this case has really wore them war on them and will continue wear on them. I sense that the pressures of the family not letting up, um, the you know, will start to wear on this person. The guilt of what may have happened will start to wear on this person. And I'm getting a sense as a female who is having this mental stress, this feeling fragmented, feeling like she's only a shell of who she is because of this whole situation. Okay. She may be the critical piece to helping to solve the case and bridge everything together. Where Lexi is, uh, what evidence um, is there to support that, and justice being reached. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up on here. And then finally, we have this last row. We spoke about this card and this card here. Boat, body of water. It could be that this rural area is near a, a body of water. Um, it could mean that somebody transported or moved her with a boat um, to this body of water it could also mean that they themselves for their new identity moved by water or moved over water or traveled um you know across water to their new identity this male suspect thinking that they could run away when i see this card i'm sensing like you oh you're trying to leave a situation set off into the sunset you know sail sail away and think that you can get away from it Northwest was interesting to me, and I'm not quite sure because I haven't done a map search yet of the area. I'm not even quite sure of exactly where she came up missing, like what highway, what road, what landmark. So I would need to dig a little deeper into that to see what is this speaking to, this Northwest card. Is this speaking to where... Um, where she normally lives and actually wherever she came up missing is northwest of where she normally is is northwest um th these people lit where the people who are involved live from her or from where this location happened northwest um you know could speak to many different things that i may not be privy to at this time and that's okay spirit is only revealing to me what i need to see and feel and hear so now that i have 
this kind of lay of the energies of what was kind of going on leading up to her disappearance and what's been transpiring since. I now know kind of some questions I want to ask during the reading and what clues and keys to things I want to tap into when I sit down to do the main reading. So that's it. I just wanted to do this quick uh, reading. <laughs> this uh, just, you know pre-reading, if you will, and I will now get busy working on the main one. All right. Much, much love. I'm sending you all so much love. Big hugs to you, and I'll see you all later.